Hi there! Today I am going to show you how you can create your own booklet using our print shop portal. I'm going to show you mine as an example, and then I'll show you how I can create one using the templates provided below. This is my cover page, page one in my PDF. If I scroll down, you'll notice I left page two blank. This is intentional because when we print these booklets, we are printing them double-sided. So that means that the cover is here, and when you turn the cover over, the back side should be left blank. This is to ensure that we're not accidentally printing our content on the inside front cover. When I scroll down, you'll see the actual content of my booklet here. And then toward the bottom, you'll notice that again, I left the second to last page blank and the last page blank because this is my back cover. And this page, for me, it's page 11. This is the inside back cover. Again, just to make sure I'm not printing my content on that back cover page. We'll go through together how you can create your own. And you can choose from either a small design in our print shop, which is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. Or you can choose large, which is eight and a half inches by 11 inches. To start, I would open a new tab and I would log into Canva for education first. Once I'm logged in, I'll go to the template I want. I'm going to click Use Template. So here you can see these words indicate what should go on which page. So here I have my front cover, my inside front cover, the content, the inside back cover, and the actual back cover. So I'm going to go ahead and design the front cover and one of the content pages. And when we come back, we'll see what I do if I want duplicate pages in my booklet. All right, as you can see, I've designed my booklet. I have the cover right here. I have page two intentionally blank because that's the inside front cover. And then I've decided I would love to have five pages that look just like this, that has lines for the kids to write on. Now, a common mistake is that people will submit their PDF and they'll have a page like this, but they won't indicate that they want that page duplicated. So this page is only printed once in the booklet. To prevent that problem from happening, I'm going to click this button right next to the lock. This says duplicate page. And I said I want that page five times, so I'm going to click it until I have five pages. Great, let's see what happened. So up here is my cover. Below that is my inside front cover. And now I have one, two, three, four, five pages with these lines. So that way, when the booklet prints out, this page with all the lines is printed five times in a row so the kids have plenty of space to write. Below that, I have a blank page to be my inside back cover. And finally, my back cover. Now that I'm done with my design, I'm going to click share at the top. I'm going to download, and I'm going to choose PDF print. This will ensure that my design turns out high quality and is not pixelated. I'm going to download, and once I download this, I'll upload it to the print shop portal and I'll be sure to indicate in my remarks any specific details that I need for this booklet. It's never good to just assume that we'll know. Always leave as much information as possible so that we can get all the details right the first time around. Another common issue that people may face when uh, submitting a booklet is that they forget to indicate that they actually want a cover. So oftentimes people will submit a cover color, which is great. But before that, make sure you're also telling us, yes, you do in fact want a cover uh, so that we know for sure. Hope this helps.